हेलो एवरीवन लेट्स स्टडी होम ऑटोमेशन यूजिंग सिस्को पैकेट ट्रेसर लेट्स टेक वन लैपटॉप वन सर्वर देन वी विल टेक अ स्विच ऑफ सिंपल कॉन्फ़िगरेशन देन वी विल टेक अन वायरलेस एक्सेस पॉइंट एंड देन वी विल टेक सम होम डिवाइसेस First we'll take a fan, then we'll take a garage, then we'll take a door here, we can take a lamp here, and we can take a speaker here. Now we'll connect all these devices. Connect the laptop to the switch. Connect the server. To the switch. Then we'll connect the switch to the access point for the port zero. Now we need to configure the port zero here. That is on bandwidth and duplex. We can set here. We will set for port 1 to which we are going to connect all the home appliances we can give a name as home gateway and here we can increase the range and just close this we will at the same time we will set the server with the services and also provide the IP address here we will give the IP address as 192.168.1.1 which is easy to remember and then we will go for the services. First we will turn on the DHCP services and also IoT services on. Then we can close this, get the IP address of the laptop to the DHCP server. one point two is a IP address of laptop. Now we can go for the home appliances. Go to the configuration. First of all, for port zero, we need to connect the appliance. That is, we have to write the same way what we have given the address for. Check first IP address. It is home gateway. Copy that. Go to the device. Go to the wireless connection. Paste the same IP address. Go to the static and then again go to the DSCP. Now we got the proper IP address and then we can go for the settings. Here we can give the remote server's IP address that is 192.168.1.1. We will give the user ID and password as admin and admin ID. Let's try to connect it. After getting the wireless connection, go to the server. Go to IoT monitor. You can give the user ID, IoT server IP address. And let's try to log in. We will get this device similarly we will configure the next device go to the wireless use the same ssid set the ip address 
and now we can check for the remote access server connectivity of the IoT server view the IP address of the server view or user ID password as admin and admin and connect if this shows as a refresh it is connected similarly we can connect all other devices go to the wireless first give the same address what we have given to port 1 of access point try to take the DSCP IP address which should be in the range of 192.168.1.1 let's set once again okay now it is correct so you can go for the settings and now you can go for the remote server give the server's IP address and give the user ID and password connect yes it got connected you can similarly connect all devices in the same manner go to settings give the server's IP address through the remote server So we can connect so we have connected all the devices now we can go to the server and select the IOT monitor here you will find all the devices in line you can just check this is home speaker you can increase the signal of the speaker You can just say low fan, high fan, off, then the third IoT device that is a lamp. You can just on, off, dim light. First, we should on, then dim light, off. Similarly, door lock. Here you can see unlock the door, garage, open, close.